marketing, you say income, you say uh, gender, you say many different categories that we used to, 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 to study for marketing, but this has changed completely. In some countries, it's impossible to uh, define what we use to, to call the segments. Um, so it has become a matter of trend for cancer. So what is the way out? The way out is uh, to give students a mindset, to give students as much uh, as possible of instruments, but I think above all to uh, train them to work like if they were at work already in the job place. And at a certain point, with our final projects, the uh, roles are inverted, and our teachers become consultants. Consultants, because what I think is, uh, in academic schools where you have standard pro uh, programs, you usually apply the same solution to every case. Because this is what you learn, because this is what the standard requires. While what we teach is to use their brain according to the case they have to face. Like, we give them a brand to be solved in case pro pro uh, problems, or a new brand to be developed, whereas you have the emerging designer, for example, the one who wants to become a brand. And uh, according to what is the situation that they are facing there, they have to decide if using more communication, more business tools, more merchandising, because the case requires different tools. And in that moment, our teachers, coming from the industry, become consultants, real consultants. We, mm, we make like the job is. So what's happening after? Well, they will experience something in a company, like they will start working there with an internship or not, or directly at work. Then they will set up at a certain point, and they will say, oh, I remember of my friend, I met at school, he was in the design department. And then through the network, they go there, and they find each other, and then they will start something. And this is happening continuously. So this is the, the way it's working for me, according to the experience of Thank you. Спасибо большое. Ну вот продолжение создания условий для проектного обучения является, наверное, основой успешного успешной организации процесса в ваших университетах, ваших I think uh, there is no standard way in fashion to uh, have a career. So the help to a new designer can come from the state, can come from the school, can come from the family, can be a matter of luckiness at a certain point. No, the right moment, the right place, meeting the right people. Uh, what the school has to do is to train them uh, and to give the first opportunity. So, for example, uh, we uh, opened a new design lab, which is located exactly where uh, the industry produces uh, top-level products for the major brands in the world. So it's big outside Florence, and it's huge, and it's an open space. It's a white, huge open space. 
and they can go uh, through machineries, to teachers, and meet each other uh, from different classes. So differently from what is business classes where you go and you attend the class, they can instead uh, go around the lab. And then um, we decided that some spaces downstairs uh, are dedicated to co-working and some spaces are dedicated to incubators, which means that the students will have a space for themselves Start in the laboratory, in the showroom, in the office if they need it. So this is the incubator. And it's a space in the space. So, um, but then there are also other other ways to, to have the first opportunity. As I said, you have an internship or you directly find a job. I always say to my students, don't search for internships, just go to work. Because you are ready for it, for it you know? It's a puzzle. I was talking to the, a journalist of the business of fashion, and she told me, wow, this is a great paradox, because sometimes when they go to work, first they, they teach them how to work. But in school, you teach them how to work already. So when they go to, 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 to the workplace, it's, uh, you know, um, maybe overformed or not, I don't know, but we give that space for staff. It's not a matter of states in Italy. Uh, it's a matter of organization. Who can uh, collaborate and create clusters, situations where emerging designers can be seen. Um, especially for Florence, I would think this moment to Pitti, Pitti Magine, Pitti Uomo, uh, is a great example where you have the support of the city, where you have an organization which is the fair, where you have the belongingness to a wider national organization as we have Roselli here today, thanks for being here. And you know, it's, it's a, and every year there, there's emerging designer shown, presented to the public. So it's very intelligent <coughs> because normally this would be a trade fair where you present products, brands, okay, but commercially speaking. While the occasion of having so many buyers, so much press there, as great to show an emerging designer and as it's already written in the newspapers in Italy, I can say it, the next emerging designer at PT is Gosha Ruchinsky, Russian. So it's to respond perfectly to your question, it's not a matter of state in Italy, but cluster of organizations. about uh, the, the, the way of teaching. I think 
Uh, today, we should be uh, interdisciplinary in what we teach. What does that mean? It means that we should cross different abilities for creating interest, for creating figures who can uh, work at different levels. Why do I say that? Because the changes in the society, like globalization, internet, also the financial crash, paradoxically, and the downfall of ideologies, these great changes of our era created a situation where designers are different things today. It's not the romantic designer that we had in the 90s. Um, if we think to hype designers of the last days, of the last shows, we see Demna Grazalia, the new designer of, um, uh, of the newspapers ever, because they talk about him ever, uh, everywhere. Well, basically, he's a great merchandising manager, and I say it in a positive way. I mean, he's doing killer collections. Mm, none of them is wrong, you know, perfectly organized. And then if you see uh, Ralph Simmons, who led Dior and then he left, he is a creative director. We call him designer, but he's not drawing. He's making a brief to uh, people who then create the garment. Or if we look at Hedy Sliman, who reinvented Saint Laurent, you can be positive or negative on him in terms of individual judgment, if you like it or not. But we must admit that Eddie Sliman reinvented Saint Laurent, so he is a brand manager. Um, the last uh, Kanye West, you know, the phenomenon, the singer who becomes designer. Uh, is it as a, a designer? I, I would rather say that he's a stylist. Okay, so you see that when you see, uh, when, when you study brand management, you must know about design. When you study design, you must know about brand management. This is what I say when uh, I talk about multidisciplinarity. And listen, it's not enough to add two hours per week of marketing in a program of design to say that you made the difference. You have to find a common ground between the two figures since the beginning. And the same is for the figures in business. Like, look at Adrian Jaffe, who is the CEO of Comme des Garçons. It's not the typical CEO accounting and counting all the day, having the parterre of brands to manage. It's much more, look at the experience they had with Dover Street Market, they reinvented the way to produce designers, they created the tribe of designers. And in communication, it's the same, look at Imran Ahmed with the 